How's it going everyone? Jordan the Wolf here, and it's time to go over a positively popular character of note. None other than the magnificent Harley Quinn, who has risen to prominence over the last few decades. You've seen her on t-shirts, comics, animated films, and now on the big screen, rubbing shoulders with other DC characters. But I believe it's one of, if not, her most significant achievement is getting her own show. A show that allowed the character to redefine herself, but all this had to start somewhere. So, on September 11th, 1992, the animated show, Batman the Animated Series, the 22nd episode named Joker's Favor, she started as a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, who was manipulated by the Joker into becoming his sidekick and loved the Clown Prince of Crime. So to celebrate 30 years, me and Viper are going to develop a team of six Pokemon for Harley Quinn. Now that being said, let me introduce you to my co-host, Viper Games. Viper, take it away. Hello, everybody. The name is Viper, and thanks for having me here, Jordan. It's great to be here. I also have a Twitch channel and a YouTube channel of my own, so after you're done with here this video, maybe you guys could check my stuff out. All right, it's time to wrap up this Harley and get onto the team. Let's go to the first Pokemon. And for the first Pokemon, I felt no better Pokemon to start off with than the Bite Pokemon Mightyena. The Hyena Pokemon for this team felt like a no-brainer. Now, for those who weren't aware or need a brief refresher on the on the premise why in the batman animated series harley quinn had went solo and decided to break into gotham zoo to get her pet hyenas but in loop depending on the canon such as like if you follow batman hush harley had three in the dcu she only had one or in the dc superhero girls harley had possessed two hyenas however they were females but for this team just gonna have the mighty anna right here due to being the most frequent pet and companion she dotes on she calls her babies. So, with that being said, this is the first choice for her Pokemon, Mighty Anna. That's a pretty good pick there, Jordan. But allow me to one-up your Mighty Anna with my Mighty Anna. As you mentioned earlier, Harley has two hyenas, so it would make sense for her to have two Mighty Anna instead of just one. Alright, let's go on to the number three spot. Alright, this is a bit of a weird pick, but for next on the list, we have the Fireworks Pokemon Blacephalon. Well, technically he's an alien, but he can be caught in a Pokeball. Oh, whatever. Anyways, Blacephalon was chosen for its trickster nature and design being closely resembling to a Harlequin, which is, well, what Harley Quinn is based on. Not just by design, but her name is literally a play on the word, Harlequin. You see, the Harlequin originally refers to a character of Italian commedia, starting in the 16th century as a comic servant. Later on, this type of character would evolve into a more of a clown-like figure we see today, like the Harlequin class in Gen 5 of Pokemon. And they would do tricks and jokes and all that other cool stuff. Also, the Harlequin's outfit began as peasant clothes covered in bright patches and developed into a tight-fitting costume with bright triangles and diamond shapes and a black half mask. Kind of like Harley's original design. Wow, that became a short history lesson. Uh, anyways, it, it looks like Harley since they're both inspired by the Harlequin character. Uh, okay, we need a good transition. Oh damn, look at those Harley cheeks! God damn it, Viper. Alright, so for the fourth entry of the team, I felt Harley Quinn needed a mega Pokemon for her team and had to survey the options, look around, and though I had decided upon the rabbit Pokemon, Lopunny, which is a good addition to the team, an athletic, acrobatic Pokemon that could dominate a fight with powerful kicks and agility, reminiscent of Harl's. It is a scrappy little Pokemon that can get into quick fights and help finish them quickly, just like Harley, and will make a great partner in crime. For our fifth entry on this team, we have the Deceiver Pokemon Mawile. Now, the category of this Pokemon should alone tell you why this is a perfect fit for Harley, and if that wasn't enough, here's an excerpt from the Pokedex. <clears throat> Don't be taken by this Pokemon's cute face. It's very dangerous. Mawile fools the foes into letting down its guard, then chomps down with its massive jaws. You see? It's just like Harley. Cute, but very dangerous. I'll take you out in an instant. And finally, to round off our team, it is Obstagoon, the blocking Pokemon. This Galarian Pokemon fills the role of the Team Muscle, her tank. As Harley became her own villain, she began to employ her own band of goons in various incarnations. And for this team, she'll need that henchman who can take some of the hits for her, with this name being poetic. Goons are obstacles for heroes to overcome before taking on the villain. And it doesn't hurt that Shiny Obstagoon is rocking Team Captain Harley's colors. So, that being said, I believe Obstagoon will make the final piece for this team. And this will be concluding our team roster. This video is a long time coming, and I truly do enjoy making this video. Harley Quinn is personally my favorite DC girl from all the DC universe. She is a perfect character. She is a wonderful character who's had her struggles, her comeuppance, and has progressed to become who she is today. So, to round off this team, 
like let me just go over the roster one more time for everybody. She possesses two Mightyana, a Pacephalon, Megalopunny, Mawile, and a Shiny Obstagoon. I just want to say that uh, in the future, I might be doing more Pokemon teams. You just have to let me know in the comments, and we'll see how that goes. I truly want to thank those who've supported me so far and continue to support me in the future. I hope you guys will stick around as more series will be coming. I want to thank my friend Viper for spending time and helping me put this video together. So um, I'm going to give the floor to Viper to let him um, talk about any projects or anything he might be going up onto. So, um, all right, Viper, take the floor. Hey, thanks for having me, man. It was great to be here. And for everybody else watching, uh, as I said earlier, I do have a Twitch channel of my own. I stream every Sunday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Uh, the games vary depending on what I'm just playing at the time. And I also have a YouTube channel of my own. Uh, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I should have at least, you know, a couple videos out. Uh, it's still brand new. So hoping I can uh, let that take off. Other than that, I will see you guys later. I just want to quickly say before we finish off um i want to say a thank you to everybody i hope you guys stay tuned i'll be having more videos out in the coming months college has kept me busy a bit as i just got accepted into my university but i'll be continuing to put out some videos when i can all credit to where they need to be due whether it be the artwork which was provided to me by my good friend spino and others will be provided in the description below including the links to viper's channel and the gif of the animated Harley walking by. So with that being said, Jordan the Wolf will be signing out. Peace everybody, love you.